in this video we will discuss an exponential mapping and the uh, relations mapping and functions topic so let's look at exactly what is an exponential mapping so when i say something is an exponential this is how it, it looks like right an exponential mapping so this is how it looks like. So y is equal to a r exponent x minus b. Don't worry about this. So the only thing you have to pay attention to is that when you say something is an exponential mapping by image, what's the image behind that exponential, right? So just like you watching me right now, you have a name. So when someone mentions your name, the person is able to identify you by your image. Right, so that is exactly what you have to pay attention to. So what is the image behind an exponential mapping? So this is how it is, right? Okay, now we have so many characters over here, so so many variables. Uh, the most important thing is that you have to make sure that you know exactly uh, the functions of what each variable, what each variable does in what in the equation. So without matter, I choose to go for maybe let's say a is equal to the first part now, and I'll explain that in just a few minutes. So if you don't know what a codomain is, I'll still explain to that. So don't 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 skip the video. Make sure that you work to the end. And then B is the first lady, right? So here the assumption is that you are going to deal with a lady and a partner, right? So I'll explain that in a few minutes. And then the R is a common ratio. So a here is just the first partner and then r will be given the common ratio in the partners and then uh, b is what the first lady the x and y are just the parents of the house so i'll explain that in a few minutes then okay now let's continue now i'll use an example a pure past question example to explain uh, an exponential uh, mapping okay this is the question so yeah we are having this question why s map to y and then 1 is to 2 and then 2 is to 4, 3 and so on and so forth, right? So we know, first thing you have to identify is that, is it truly that this mapping is what an exponential mapping? Just like a difference between a boy and a girl, a woman and a, a man, or a lady and what, and a gentleman, right? So there are some features that you have to pay attention to, some characteristics over there so when you look at those features you can be able to say that yes this is a girl or this is a boy right so the features that will help us to identify that this mapping is what uh, an exponential mapping is one the common ratio right so for you to identify uh, an exponential mapping you have to make sure that you, you are able to find out whether it has a common ratio so what is a common ratio here now the common ratio is is this is how you find the common ratio. So first first thing is that here they down here I refer to them as well the partners of what the ladies right. So the ladies are on the top and then the partners are the down here. So we have the first lady to be what one and then the second person by name two and then the third lady by name what three and so on and so forth right. So you have your corresponding partner to be two and then. Uh, uh, here to you have your partner to be four and so on and so forth is that okay so you can see that this the down here the down here technically the values of the y are the partners that we are talking about and then the values of the x here are what the ladies right so in other ways this one will be the domain right so in mathematically this one will be the domain and then here will be what the code domain right so that is the difference between what I mean by the partner and the lady over here. So these are the set of the partners and then these are uh, the set of uh, the ladies. Right? Okay. Now we are okay with that term. Just for an explanation and understanding purpose. Now let's move on. Now, back to the definitions of the word. Exponential mapping. I said that you have to identify a certain character. Right? Certain features among the mapping that tells you that this type of mapping is exactly an exponential mapping. So one feature is what? is the common ratio so what is a common ratio or, or who is behind the common ratio the common ratio here we are talking about is to be the common ratio among the partners right among the partners right not among the ladies but rather among the partners here and how do you identify that common ratio you identify the common ratio by by the way the meaning of the ratio is something over something right a proportion of certain things so here this is how you go we don't go like this is what four over two 
and then maybe 8 over 4 or 16 over 8 and then 32 over 1 right irrespective of the arrangement it's always this one over the the previous one right this over the previous this over the previous don't see it's necessary for the numbers to be in order we, we it doesn't work like that right the most important thing is that this one over the previous this over the previous this over the previous so that's exactly what i did here so that i had two uh, four over two is the same as saying say eight over four and then 16 over eight and then 32 over eight right just like this one right and so on and so forth now the key here is that you have to make sure that the answer you get to all the divisions right when you find the common ratio the answer has to be the same if they are not the same then this is not an exponential mapping right that is one character right for identifying what an exponential mapping is that okay so as you can see when i divide this thing four over two the answer will be two and then this over that the answer will still be two and then 60 over that the answer will still be two and then two over that the answer will still be what two right that is exactly one key may that we are looking for in what an exponential if even one one of them fails then it means that this is not an exponential mapping is that okay so that is the key word in what in an exponential mapping so here after dividing everything consider as all the answer gives me two all right so perfect so this one tells me that this type of mapping is an exponential once it is an exponential you know how the exponential mapping looks like so this is at the beginning of the video i see that this is what we call what an exponential mapping so if you're able to identify that, that this is an exponential mapping so the first thing first you have to write this thing down is that okay for an assurance that tells you that this is what an exponential map you have to identify what the the the, the common ratio okay now it's your duty to know this guy so who is a a in the exponential mapping a as i said earlier on a is the first partner in what the code domain right a is the first partner in the code domain now you know the code domain right and then b is the what first lady among the domain so let's say first lady here okay so here here this is what i mean by what so they say a is what the first partner this is the range of the partners right so these are the partners over here. so who is the first partner the first partner is two and then the first lady here is also one can you see so your first partner to first lady first partner to first lady first partner to first lady. don't miss the arrangement the partner comes before this so a according to the definition a is the first partner and then uh, b is what the first lady right so now we are just going to replace right so this is how the formula looks like y is equal to a r exponent x minus b so who is a a is the just the first partner so the first partner here is what is two right you can see from the definition here the first partner is two and then b is what the first lady so the first lady here is what is one right we are just replacing and then you know r you know r r here is for the common ratio so after making a calculation we have a common ratio to be two we are just going to replace those three things so in an exponential mapping it's only three things that we are looking for right a r and then b is that okay this guy x and y are already the parents of the house right they are they are somewhat stagnant they are there they don't change in an exponential mapping okay now what is a we are just replacing a we have a to be two r to be also two and then x is already there and then this is what minus b so minus what one is that okay so this will be what the rules of what the mapping right that very very simple don't put yourself and multiply this by that right that's the reason for the reason is that this is the r is being raised to the power of x minus one so the two here is a, a constant being multiplied by that right so i advise you to leave everything like this if you don't exactly know how to multiply okay that is okay if you enjoyed the video so far don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel for more content like this all right okay if you have any question just leave down the comment below okay now look at the first the, the next example right so you're having this example to be what uh x y to y and then uh, zero maps to one one maps to three and so on and so forth is that okay so first thing first you have to identify whether which type of what uh, mapping is this so in this video we are strictly talking about what exponential mapping now you have a different types of mapping which is the linear so i'll leave the link down below if you want to watch that 
but here we are strictly talking about what, exponential so it's your duty to identify so one thing first what is the character that test says that this is an exponential mapping so it's a common ratio is that okay the ratio so you know how to find the ratio so this will be three over over one and then nine over three and then two seven over that eight one over that right you have to make sure that the answer you get for all are the same what i mean by the same is that it's constant okay now you know your a and a b you know that a is the first partner here down here a is the first partner here and then b is what the first lady right so i hope you can easily answer this question over here that says that a is equal to one you can see a is the first partner which is one and then b is what the first lady here which is what two right so what is r you know how to find the r r is what three over one that gives us what, three so we just need to replace that to what in the exponential mapping so this is what exponential mapping looks like y is equal to a r exponential x minus b so you just need to replace the three guys over here. that is a r and then b right we add a to be one and then r is equal to three x is there minus zero right so when you do this thing perfectly then you can see that this this will give us a three exponent you may choose to check is that okay you may choose to check so this is what we are having so if you want to check that you just need to replace the lady here i mean the x so if you want to find out whether truly you are a partner to let's say let's pick the first one right or maybe let's go for the second one second one so i want to check whether is it true that your partner is is, is three is that okay so this is the law the law says that three x three x it will give us what your partner right so after finding the rule that is what we had three exponent x will give us what the, the your partner right so this this is what we are talking about it so after finding we had the rule to be what three exponent x so let's check whether is it true that your partner is three so who are we talking about the lady here which is the x the lady here is one right so we just need to plug in and find out so we have the partner to be y is equal to they say we should use three exponent of one because we are replacing right so y is equal to is it three exponent one is plus one so you can see that truly yeah uh, 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 partner is, is is three right you can verify for the rest of what the number so comment down below if you have any problem or one of them fails to work okay thank you for watching